Hello there guys, Joel here, thank you guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is all about what I got for my birthday. I have had so many questions and so many messages on Instagram about this item that I picked up, so I thought I'd do like a kind of full review, in-depth look at it, um, and I've offered to up some affordable alternatives at the end as well, so stay tuned if you want to see. If this is your first video of mine, then please subscribe, and um, it would be awesome to welcome you to the family. There is nearly 90,000 of you guys, which is absolutely insane. Um, so thank you for subscribing. If you've already subscribed, um, but you haven't yet turned the bell up for notifications, don't forget to do that, because then I'll uh, let you know when I bring out a new video. Um, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I was looking for the perfect crossbody bag for quite a long time now when I was in LA in April um, and I'd never seen to found one and then I had my birthday wish list video um, last week which um, there was a couple of crossbodies in there but I was umming and ahhing because they were quite expensive but I got a bit of money for my birthday so I put it towards purchasing one of those bags and if we could have a little drum roll please. I went for the off-white metallic crossbody bag. So I got it in silver. There was a PVC version as well, but I thought the silver one, because my clothes are like black or gray, um, or red or blue, I, I didn't have any silver clothes. So I thought I'd get a silver bag because it would kind of like stand out with each outfit that I wore it with. And I like the fact that it came with the off-white strap, but the strap is white rather than the industrial kind of yellow belt or whatever you see everywhere. Um, and it's got red stitching on it as well. So it actually fits in when I wear red things too. So I've had my eye on the um, one of the off-white crossbody bags for a while. There was loads and loads of different types. Um, there's ones with like diagonal stripes, there's ones that say for display only. Um, I've seen like python skin ones, um, blue, purple, literally loads, so many different options. Um, but this one really, really stood out to me. My inspiration for a crossbody, for a crossbody bag was the Louis Vuitton Awesome Winter 18 show, which is Kim Jones' last show for Louis Vuitton. They had these crossbody bags that were like metal boxes attached at the side. Um, so when looking for a crossbody bag, I was really looking for a boxy shape um, fastened at the side and this kind of like oblong rectangle shape. And I wanted it to kind of sit like just here. Um, so this like fits. Oh no, I spilled orange juice on it at the airport. Oh, I just got back from Ibiza by the way. I was in Ibiza for a week. Oh my God, I need to sleep. So yeah, that is, uh, this kind of ticked all the boxes for those, um, but the price tag was kind of steep. It was £750, um, which is quite a lot of money, especially a tiny bag, which doesn't fit that much inside it, I found out in Ibiza. I basically wore this every day in Ibiza. I don't know if you if you follow me on Instagram, then you've seen, yeah, all the time. It has so many, so many things that I really, really love about it though. Been a love, energy, I just let it go. Switched the light. So yeah, let's start with the strap. So the strap is the off-white industrial belt, um, which everyone wraps around their dog, their neck, their monkey's uncle, literally everyone. Um, I don't like those belts. I don't, I've never liked those belts. People just assume that because I like off-white, I like those belts, and that is not true. Otherwise I would've bought one. I do like it in strap form, um, in white and black and red. I think it looks cool. And the beauty of this bag is that I can actually change the strap so you can take this bit off. It detaches fully so I can hold the bag just by itself if I want to do like a man clutch moment. Um, but I'm quite happy wearing it like so um, across my outfits and stuff like that. Um, and that fastens onto this little um, side section so I could, oh, more orange juice, so stupid. Um, so I could even fasten it down here if I want, which would make the bag be held in a different kind of way. Um, so there's a few different options in terms of how you can wear it or add on a different strap. Um, it then has the off-white hex nut. This is just like a bolt on the side to fasten, fasten in this section. Um, I like it. I think it gives like a masculine touch. So even though it is technically a women's wear bag, but who cares about that anyway. So then you have the leather bag itself. Um, so it's a big magnetic flap on the front, which goes like this. Um, it comes with, this actually came separately, um, and this is the off-white paper clip. So here you go, so you have the off-white paper clip as a little separate. Pretty cool, it's got off-white engraved in it, real fancy. Um, this came attached separately to a little piece of leather, so I just took it off and clipped on here. So obviously you can have it, you can not have it. I chose to have it because I think it looks cool. So that's just clipped onto the front flap there. Um, so if you open the flap, it's a black kind of matte leather inside. Wow, all my receipts from Ibiza. 
should probably take those out. So you go ahead and open up the bag and inside um, you have the first pocket. I'll probably try and show you a close up of this as well. You have the first pocket and inside there is a little metallic kind of card holder section. Um, you then have the little tags which I covered in orange juice again. This orange juice got everywhere. I was literally sipping orange juice and it went like this and it went down my chin and went all into my bag. What the fuck? So the iPhone X kind of sits nicely in there and you can fit a couple of other things in as well. Um, but it's like the perfect size for iPhone X or iPhone 8 Plus. Um, and then it has a really cool ring pull that says Off-White Virgil Abloh on the zip section. So I've been keeping uh, little things like change, uh, like my room key when I was on holiday, like little things like that in the front zip pocket. It's, again, it's not actually got that much room, but it is, you know, flat things. Flat things are fine. And I don't want to overstuff it because when you do overstuff it, when you try and close it, the magnetic... So I think that this bit down here is magnetic and when it doesn't reach fully, it doesn't close properly, so you really want it to be able to close properly. I do that with my card holder as well, like I don't know where my card holder is, I've got a sign on card holder but I don't stuff it with too much stuff because then you can't zip it up and it's just like, you don't want to ruin the shape of the thing. Plus it's better to travel light anyway, like you don't need all that stuff, do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Put these scissors away. So I love the way that it looks on all my outfits, so I've been wearing it in Ibiza with like shorts. Um, I've been wearing it in Ibiza over like a printed shirt, uh, over a t-shirt. Um, it's nice as well because if I'm wearing like an all black outfit or if I'm wearing like, like this grey top, it's kind of plain. Um, but then once you throw the cross body bag across, it kind of adds an extra dimension or element to your outfit. And especially since I'm going to so many festivals this summer, and it's so easy to just put your stuff in it. You can dance, you can have a good time, you don't have to hold anything, it's great. So that's why I was looking for the perfect cross body bag and I feel like I've found a gem. And the fact that they do it in so many different designs as well that I could be swayed in the future to get another, depends. Um, I'd love to know your guys' opinion on this bag, uh, especially considering the price, um, um, but the wearability and stuff like that, or if you like any of the other designs, or if anyone's been thinking about getting this bag, um, let's chat in the comments below. In terms of affordable alternatives, I found some kind of like, I found some silver fanny packs, like bum bags over on ASOS. One is only £12, and it's more kind of like holographic. Um, if you are just looking for that kind of silver crossbody bag, a much cheaper option, then there's that. It's the Spiral Silver Rave Bum Bag. Or there's a quilted version, which is just a silver quilted bum bag in the same kind of shape, which again is £12. And then the thing that I think looks the most similar, this is kind of a cross between a cold wall crossbody bag and the off-white one, um, because it is in the silver metallic material. I don't know if it's leather. Um, um, but it, can, it doesn't really have that kind of taping, like boxy vibe. It's more of like a, a belted pouch with a kind of clasp on it too. That comes in at $85 and they do have an um, international section of their website so you can order online. So I'll leave a link to those in the description below. Um, but they are some silver affordable alternative uh, crossbody bags I think you could get if you're looking for a similar kind of vibe. There are a few left of these on Selfridges, which is where I got it from, so I'll leave a link in the description below. I'll also leave a link to different kinds of dines if you want to check them out. So yeah, um, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Do, learn, do let me know what you think in the comments below. Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.